Welcome back to Sarah's Bites everyone. Today we're going to be taking full advantage of cranberry season and we're going to make these delicious mouth-watering cranberry orange muffins that I think you guys will absolutely love. So let's get started. Start by very roughly chopping about two cups of cranberries. Now these were not frozen. I got them fresh out of a bag at a grocery store because they are in season now. But if you do have frozen ones, just be sure that you thaw them out before you guys put them in the batter. And they don't have to be chopped all the way. You just don't want whole cranberries because they will sink to the bottom. Next, we'll go ahead and combine our dry ingredients. So you're gonna sift together two and a half cups of all-purpose flour with two teaspoons of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And just go ahead and stir everything together and set that aside. Now we'll go ahead and mix our wet ingredients together. So you're gonna need a half a cup of unsalted butter at room temperature and go ahead and mix that for about one minute on medium speed with one and a quarter cups of granulated sugar. And if you guys are enjoying this recipe, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel and please let me know in the comments below if you would like to see any other recipes posted here. Now just make a little well in the center and add in your two room temperature eggs and stir that for another 15 seconds, not much longer than that. And next you'll grab one whole washed orange and you're gonna zest that entire thing into the batter and then just cut it in half and use all of the juice as well. Go ahead and throw in your half a cup of room temperature milk and I ended up using whole milk and just get that mixed in for another 15 seconds or so. You don't want to over mix at this point because next we're gonna go ahead and start adding in our dry ingredients and mixing little by little to get everything combined. The final step here is to go ahead and grab your two cups of cranberries and just gently fold those in. Grab your muffin pan with some liners in them and go ahead and use a cookie scoop or a spoon, whatever you prefer, and just fill them about three quarters of the way. This makes enough batter for two dozen of these muffins unless you actually fill them up more and make them a little bit bigger, then you'll probably end up having about a dozen and a half. Grab a few whole cranberries and just put them on top and then put those in the oven at 350 for 25 to 30 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. These make for a great breakfast option or even snacks to have throughout the week and it's pretty simple to make so thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give me a thumbs up below. Until next time.